Well, the General Assembly session ends at midnight. And from start to finish, this year's session was greatly overshadowed by tragedy. The tragedy at Sandy Hook came just 24 days before the start of the session and resulted in some big changes in some major laws. News H chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more. Mark. Hi, Sonia and Keith. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, a lot of other stuff did get done, but for many, this will always be remembered as the Sandy Hook session. Budget on time that doesn't raise taxes, uh, uh, energy policy that we've never had before, uh, our Yukon initiative, uh, getting out of this building on time. Well, those are all pretty major accomplishments. The leaders of the assembly are also patting themselves on the back for those accomplishments. But there was one overpowering issue that dominated this session. It's exemplified by the artistic student tribute to Newtown that was set up in the corridors here today. Among the artwork, a depiction of teddy bears being crucified, done by a youngster from Darien. I think it certainly uh, was a dominant theme that guided us through most of the first half of the session. Just say no! No! Just say no! Some of the biggest crowds ever seen in the state capitol came out to oppose a package of gun control bills that passed back in April. The new law banning sales of the AR-15 rifle, the one used by the Sandy Hook shooter, is already being challenged by gun rights groups in the courts. That and other restrictions in the new law are causing several Connecticut gun makers to consider leaving the state, taking many jobs with them. And early this morning, the House gave final approval to a law changing the state's widely admired Freedom of Information Act. It will keep crime scene photos from Sandy Hook from being released. The FOI change and the gun law changes came about largely because of the heavy influence of the Sandy Hook families who spent many days at the Capitol during this session. School safety and mental health issues were also addressed during this session because of Sandy Hook and looking ahead, the matters of freedom of information will continue to be explored because of the aftermath of Sandy Hook. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.